Um, another feature that we implemented uh, is an HTTP API, and uh, there we uh, basically it, it, it started as a random discussion on Discord where a user uh, asked, uh, hey guys, are you supporting HTTP API? And Dragonfly is designed to be a backend uh, that answers uh, either REST protocol or Memcached protocol. So basically, it, it's not a, your regular web server. Uh, so I kind of got curious, why would someone need such a thing? And then the discussion evolved. And apparently, uh, there are communities uh, that specifically it was a Cloudflare community that they develop uh, applications on the edge and they need a persistent store uh, and to offload uh, the state of their application somewhere. And their options uh, kind of limited to what, let's say, in Cloudflare, they suggest uh, provide or some other providers, but those options are limited and sometimes they can be very expensive. So this specific user was looking for alternatives and it sound, sounded like a real pain point. So we went and implemented a very simple uh, API. We'll see it in a second. And uh, we can expose uh, or enable this API via a special flag, which is called Expose HTTP API. And here uh, we have an example of an HTTP API, really straightforward. Uh, a user provides uh, or sends a post HTTP request to a backend to Dragonfly where the command, the Redis command is uh, described as a JSON array and the Dragonfly response with a JSON response, uh, which is a result and the value of the response. Sometimes it's a string, sometimes an, an array uh, as well. So uh, basically these are two features that we recently implemented. Uh, but again, we had like numerous uh, smaller features and numerous bug fixes uh, that we fixed along, uh, during the last few months.